Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rising World on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Glad you're here. Glad to see you're excited about another Rising World series, too. Uh, people are asking for it, so perfect. I'm ready to do one. Um, I am down in what is going to become our mine. I've got a little bit of a ledge I kind of chiseled out of the wall up here. This is going to be the middle tunnel. We came down here and looked through the cave. We found three different directions we could go. Left, right, and straight. Correct? Correct. We had right, we had a dungeon down here. We have a dungeon back that way, which was at like a negative 60, 65, something like that. I'm not quite sure where that dungeon was there, but this thing leads out of the world, out to the upper world, I should say. We found this gold right here. I've left that there still. So I decided that down here is where we are going to put the mine, because this starts us out at like a negative, uh, well, let's get down here and take a look and see here. Uh, F3, F3. Uh, negative 89. So it gets us pretty close. Right down here is probably about 90 or so. Uh, so what, here we're going to put our smithy in here, our smelter, some chests, uh, workbenches, things like that. You can see I've got a beautiful supply of coal down here. Two patches of it that I've uncovered. Uh, a little bit of iron in the wall up here too. Those guys might just stay where they are. Just because I like having the raw ore showing on the walls, especially that guy right there. That is a really beautiful patch of coal. So I might leave that there. I may leave the iron there. Here is where our tunnel is going to start. We're going to be heading north. North, people. We go north. So I'm going to dig in here a little ways. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to go ahead and beam in a certain portion of it, not the whole thing because, wow, that would just be something else. But I would like this to have sort of a, a mine entrance look with the beams and the wood and things of that nature. So I thought we could have fun with that and kind of tinker with the wood beams and the wood planks and things like that in this area down here. And then we're going to do a nice floor in here and we'll put our smelter down here and some storage and like I said our workbenches so the room might have to be a little bit bigger I don't know but I do like having some natural ledge like that cut in with the torches and we'll do that better up as well and I dug the ceiling up a little bit higher too just so we would kind of come in like uh, you can see that, that that cave goes nowhere of course it loops back around here but it just kind of uh, let's, let's go back a little bit so you can see it starts out very dark and then it, uh, it, it gets lighter you see that it's not it's not visible. And then as you get a closer and closer and closer and closer, it starts to light up. And we come in here and we'll have some beams maybe right in here to show kind of this is the mine entrance. And bam, down here, we're going to dig to our heart's content, get our irons and things like that. We're going to dig all the way down and get to the different levels for the different irons and metals that we need. And boom, this is going to be the mine. So work, work on this together. Let me know, is this something you want to work on together? The last mine, everyone really seemed to like the way it turned out. And I just kind of got busy on that on the Saturday night and got and, and put it together. Um, I've got a few stacks of stone. I think what I would like to do is to get a little more stone. Maybe finish up that one last stack. It should be enough to get us by. And like I said, I'm going to take this further straight back. So I'm just doing... Well, let me show you what I do real quick. Those of you who are maybe new to the game. If you're not careful, the pick will take out some weird chunks. Now, you can come back with a hammer and you can smooth those things out. But if you kind of take your time and pick away at it like so, you can get yourself a pretty nice tunnel hole and you don't have to do a whole lot of cleanup afterwards. It works out pretty good. You can see how it just kind of spreads the world out nicely all on its own. Like so, and we're going to come back here a little bit, like that, bam, it's it's usually these areas right here. I've noticed the direction you pick, if you're like straight up and down, it'll dig a deep, deep hole, but if you back up a little bit and you kind of try to skim a little bit like that, it's not quite as dramatic. Sometimes you can get some pretty big holes in here, and like right there, I wouldn't want to dig any further down because I think it would wind up creating a very large gap. Boy, I sure would like to see that two, two times stone there, two times stone. I sure would like to see a few more threes here. I get twos a lot. There's a one. I, ugh. <laughs> it's like, a one? Come on. Oh, there's another one. There's a three. You get very few threes. But I sure would like to see some more twos come up. That would be great. Or threes, actually. I kind of wish, like I said before, it was three, four, and five. Let's see, how's our inventory right now? We've got 64 plus one. All right, that should be enough to get us by for a little bit. And if you didn't know it, if you make yourself a bucket, you can go out your water and get a bucket of water, and you can just set it right on the floor here. And I've got water down here, and I don't have to worry about that, okay? And I think sometimes you can, sometimes you can't pick it up. Let's see here. 
See, now I can pick up a bucket of water out of that, and then I can actually add water to it. See, I can keep adding water to it. And to get rid of it, all you've got to do is uh, take some blocks and cover it up, and it will go away. Boom. But there we go. So, yeah, sometimes you can scoop it back up, and sometimes you can't. Let's go ahead and head on up. I've got something really, really neat I want to talk to you about today and show you today. And if you watch the screen, and I've not done any test records on this yet, I'm, I'm going to see how this turns out. But if you look at the world in front of me, it should have a bit of a different look, especially when you see the further distance away. When we get outside, you're going to see it even more, and we'll talk about it. We've got our good buddy Z Foxfire to thank for this, and a guy by the name of Walter Dastrevas. So, I know, it sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Walter Dastrevas. So, give me a second, let me get back up to the surface, and then I'll come back and we'll talk some more about it, okay? So, I shall return. If you look out in front of us, it's got an interesting look, doesn't it? It's like, okay, I'm looking, but I, I can't quite make out everything that's way out there. But you can make it out. There's mountains, there's trees and things of that nature. And you see the grass, the grass and the flowers. And as you get closer, it's like your eyes, you know, as you get closer in real life, your eyes focus better and you can see things that are closer to you. And as we do this, you can see the difference in the world. And I'm going to show you the setting that I changed thanks to a, a tip from Z Foxfire on this Walter Das Trevas. It has really um, uh, made the graphics seem better, and I'm, I'm curious to see that after now, I, now I'm recording. Uh, I noticed down the mine that a lot of that blur activity from when I would run, you, the whole screen would get really blurry and kind of ugly. Um, I am hoping that this setting is what's going to um, help alleviate some of that. So I'm going to show you what setting I've got and what we were tinkering around with and what he turned me on to because it's really... I love it. I think it's it does have a really interesting... Uh, Z Voxfire said kind of an artistic look to it. It does. And I'm trying to picture what it, what it reminds me of and I can't quite pick it out. But let's go to our settings. Let's hit escape. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's go to settings. Right here, this intensity, depth of field, this is the intensity of that. Normally, it is up at 300 and about 50, I believe, is where it was at the very beginning. As sort of a, let's go back in and take a look and see. And we'll take a look and see if there's a big change in here. Okay, now you can see a lot more detail over on the mountainside there. A lot more. You know, it, 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 it doesn't have quite quite that mist to it for quite as long a distance because we can of course I think probably see a lot farther now the grass though as I run through it I can tell that there is more possibly more blur to it there's one other setting that I've changed uh, as recommended let's go back out we'll get to some building in just a second I think this is going to really help a lot of folks out let's go to settings Grass masking. We had the issue in the last episode where the grass was kind of scrolling back and then coming back in, scrolling out and coming back in. Uh, I was told that if we turn this off, that might help that. And so far, I've not seen it. But then again, we've got to test that out someplace else. But I do think I like this better down at about 80... I think it was 84, 86, 87, somewhere in there. So I'm going to put it right down here at about... We'll go, we'll go right around 90. It, it seems to click right there, so I'm going to go with that. Um, so I'm going to leave that on, on 80 or 90, and I'm going to grass mask it. I'm going to leave that as it is. I've got the resolution at 19, 20, 10, 80. I've got 25 chunks now. It was down to 20. That issue of the game crashing for me at 25 chunks doesn't seem to happen anymore. It's almost like I think they figured that part out. And then I've got 11 chunks. And I think that is basically the... Um, uh, that's standard. So let's go back to... Uh, Oh, I guess I gotta go back to here, huh? Single player. There we go. Let's load this back up. And yeah, there's, there's, I really like the way it looks. And if it's going to alleviate a lot of that blur, because I can see it too, I'm all for it. I am all for it. And it does make the world look pretty, pretty sweet, I think. So here we are. We're still working on our entranceway. And you guys try these settings out and tell me what you think as well. But boom, here we are, outside. Now let's go see if that grass scrolls back up and down on this hill like it was doing last time. No, it did not do it. Do you see that? 
This was going up and down last time. It is not doing it anymore. Thank you, Z Foxfire. Major, major help, major help. All right, so we've got food, we've got some stone. I've actually got a few materials back inside that we're gonna to have to pick up again. And look at, the, look at the way this looks in here. This looks really nice, I love that. Yeah, it's got a very, it's got a different look. There's almost like there's more detail in the stone that you can see when you lower that setting. It's pretty nice. We need a couple of maple trees. Mm -hmm. We need to get our ax action on. We've got our ax in our inventory. We do need to do that. We need a couple of maple trees for out front here. That is uh, one of my favorite trees in the game. I would have to say my other favorite tree on the game, these guys right here for wood, the birch, are just fantastic for that. But um, that tree, the maple, and then the acacia. The acacia tree is really gorgeous. So now we don't have quite as much going on in the distance. It doesn't render in until we're almost on it. And I like that much better. It, it really does... God, I'm trying to think of what that reminds me of, and I just cannot remember what it is. We are heading out looking for maple trees, and I believe we found a little bit of that when we headed out this direction last time. So maybe what I should do is break away and come back once I find some, and uh, we'll move forward from there. I believe we've got actual snow and stuff up on top of there, but if I keep going this direction, I should bump into some, so I'll be right back. I found a bonanza crop of them. I did. Let's hope we get plenty of saplings out of these guys. If I'm not mistaken, it takes about 10 hits to... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Five, six, seven, seven, huh? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, looks like a watermelon came into my inventory there. And we want to make sure we grab those guys up too. Okay, that only dropped one sapling. Let's hope for a couple extras out of this here. Yeah, we've got maple trees all over the place. I think we're going to have to be careful of uh, wild boars, though, in here. I don't know about uh, bears, but definitely boars. Oh, there's another sapling. I love the maple tree. I really do. I think it's an awesome tree. Let's grab another one. We're going to plant two at home, one on either side of our entrance, of course, like we talked about. And then... And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, plant a couple extras so we can get extra ones going. I know I saw a sapling fall from that. Aha, there you are. Yeah, We're not going to replace these saplings. We're going to go ahead and keep them. There we go. Perfect. And there's more in here. There's plenty more in here. It's like a maple grove, huh? Look at them all. Flowers galore. Oh, I see. Oh, you know what, you guys? I don't think we ever did get a spruce sapling did we there's a deer there's a deer i think we've got to be really careful you know what as a matter of fact let's go ahead and get this guy up there <laughs> okay just in case you never know what we're going to bump into out here now uh, more it seems like more of the animals make you bleed Where's the rest of it? Oh, you who serves me right for cutting a tree down on a hill. Oh, I don't think we got anything off of that one there. Look at that! Look at that view out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. It really does pull everything that's closest to you, crisp, clean, and nice and bright, and it leaves everything else off in the distance. A little bit dulled which is which works great for me I'm really happy about it I think it's absolutely beautiful hello stag how are you you should be running from me Let's see if we can not get a, another one of these these guys are usually pretty oh there we go let's make sure we grab that sapling right away uh, sapling there we go perfect Exactly. Mm-hmm. We need that, and we need that right there. All right, awesome. Let's take this one down, too. Now, those of you who don't know it, the really tall spruce trees that you see that have no, no low branches, those guys you can't grow. They don't seem to grow, at least. And all, this, the, all the spruce trees I've ever grown, I've never had one come up that way. 
Oh man, I am just striking out on the saplings here today. These guys right here, these tall, thin ones, they don't seem to grow. Just the, the short, uh, bushy ones seem to grow up. Let's see if I can't get at least one more. I'll be right back, okay? I'm going to go ahead and chop down a couple more trees and get a few more of these saplings too because we want to get some of these going on the property. I am back with the trees. I'm just going to put the spruce ones just... Uh, I probably should move that one a little bit further away. I'm just going to put the spruce trees out here for now where I've got no particular place I want them. But these maples, of course, we, we definitely want these guys right in here. I did a little more cleanup work around here before I started recording again. Um, uh, the request was to have the wood color of the stairs travel through all the way out the exit and to where we're going to be stepping off. And so we're going to do that next. Let me get this maple tree put in right here. I'm going to I'm going to push these guys over a little bit closer to the wall over here just so there's enough room for them. I want them to grow and bend hopefully outwards. And I don't know that you can really tell. Sometimes the texture of the land will have something to do with that as well. But we'll plant these other two maple trees. These take, I believe, the longest to grow, the maple tree. They take quite a bit of time, which would make sense very much. Okay, so we've got those guys planted. Are they about even in there? I pushed these blocks out. These three here were right along here. I pushed these out a little bit just to give the tree a little more space. I think that's going to work out the best. And yeah, I'd, I'd say that's good. I'd say that's good. Now, in here, we could go with the blocks, but I think I want to go with planks and beams because I'll show you why. We're going to be able to do a little more, uh, a little something a little more interesting, I think, and put a, create a gap in here that's going to make it look really nice. So arrow up key. I'm going to try to be a little more... Um, explain a little bit more about what I'm doing too for some of you who maybe knew the game and just got it. Uh, I know there's some confusion last time as to what key you use to pick things up. That's F. And then certain things that you place, you can pick up again like um, like that big guy right there. That uh, big brazier. You can right hold right click down and it'll pick things up. Same goes for uh, the torch mounts. The torches is just F and then the torch mounts is a hold down right click and you can pick those things up. So that's something you probably would like to know. There we go. So let's go ahead and that's the plank. We definitely want to go with the beams here. Uh, we stretched it. Oh, that's that's not a plank. That, that That is a plank. We want the beams. I want to create a little bit of a lip. I don't want to go all the way to the top. I want to create just a bit of a drop here. So that when we come in and out, we kind of step up and step down. So we're going to put this guy... Uh, let's go grid and let's shrink that way down by hitting the minus key. Why well, that just actually stayed right where I had it, huh? Pretty much. So we're going to just go like that. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to butt that up to that. And then we're going to shift arrow key down and hit control. And then we can take a look at that and see what it's doing. And you're going to see it, it move into the beam on the right that we've already put down. So if I hold control and I just hold the arrow key now, left arrow key, I can pull that beam back out. We can actually shrink it back down and pull it back. And we're going to stretch it back out a bit more. And we're going to give it a click and boom, it's good to go. And then just hit control again and that'll pull your beam loose. Uh, grid, let's see, where is this? I think I might have to eyeball this a little bit more than I probably wanted to. Let's see here. You know what I can do instead of that. Let's shrink this way down. Like so. And let's do... We can stretch this back out. If we pop that into place right there, then I know exactly where I need to be. We can swing that back out. And then we're going to hit shift and arrow up. And we're just going to stretch that all the way out again, just like that. And we're going to place that right up again. Now, if we wanted to, we can hit return and return. It's going to automatically snap that right into place nice and even. Okay. So here we can hit like return. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Hmm. Whoops. 
That's the really neat part about this game is you can get really detailed with what it is you're doing. Okay, and stretch it out a little bit more. And if I hit return, return, there we go. Beautiful control. All right, so those guys are in now. Let's go ahead and let's get this one put across here. These aren't going to be visible, but we still want them to look nice, right? Oh, there we go. I did it again. There we go. And stretch it back out again and pop it into place. Awesome. Okay, now, now what I wanted to do here was I wanted to be able to see through a little bit. So we're going to go to our planks, number four. Uh, hit return to get that to stop snapping all over the place, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, number four. Let's lay that down. Let's turn it. And... I hit Q, not W. F to pick up. We could sh actually... How big a slat do we want? Now, the, the planks, you could take and make them very, very large. If you didn't know that. You can make these guys really big. As big as a sheet of plywood. A 4x8 sheet of plywood. I could stretch this guy out and he's going to be just enormous. And you could turn him up, of course. And you could spin him around. And you could see that that board is huge now which makes really great for the roofing when you're doing roofing that's perfect but we don't want that we want how wide of a plank do i want uh probably a little bit wider than that right about there i think and then let's shrink this down i'm gonna flatten it out and turn it around and let's see what we got going on here okay that's too small we're gonna go right about there Okay, so that's about the right size. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put it right up here. We're going to left click and hold left click. And we're going to drag this all the way down to here. That's as many as we've got right here. So let's go ahead and make a few more of these real quick while we're at it. There we go. All right. And now we're going to come back here again. Put this down. Left click and drag and hold it. We're going to come all the way over to this side here. Now, if we want to, I could take and I could change how big that gap is in between these planks by just hitting the plus and minus key. So let's do that and that. And I think that's good. I'm going to right click and boom. Now we've got a bit of decking on here. I think that looks really good. Much better than if we had just gone with um, the... Uh, the blocks. A little more personality to it, wouldn't you agree? With the slats in between. And then with the stone underneath it, it, it gives it a nice view, I think, from underneath. Okay, so that, that takes care of that. We've got our trees planted. We have that going. Now I want to come up with some sort of a design for the, um, the sides of the building. Let's go, to, uh, let's go to the saw bench. Is this where decorations? We had the, the uh, stone statue. What does it take? 64 stone. Let's do one. I've never made one of these. Was there other options? No, it's just the one. Okay. Let's see how big this guy is. Looks to me like he's just a little more than a block, huh? He would fit there pretty nicely, but we would have to add another block in front of him to give him a decent platform. Let's hit control. He's going to stay. No, he won't stay there. Okay, he's not. It doesn't work like a beam, huh? Okay. Hmm. We can get a little further back, though, and see him. He looked pretty sharp. I think the suggestion was, if I, if I read it right, was to put him into here. He's going to encroach, though, on above and below. He's a little too tall for that spot there, but I think what the suggestion was was to take this out, slide him back in there, and have some side lighting on him, which would have looked pretty cool. Um, but I'm afraid that what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take that lower block out and the top block out in order to get him in there, and then we just don't have enough structure uh, to do the walkway. So that's not going to work that way. But we could put him right out here. We really could. Let's go... Uh, we might make two of these guys here, too. We might be able to put them right out here. On either side of this. Like so. 
we might be able to get away with a couple of these guys right in here and do we want them facing that direction or do we want them facing inwards towards the inside my thought is is that we've got to take into consideration the trees are going to grow up so you know what's he going to do we can always i think we could pick him back up let's let's go grid he doesn't snap to the well i guess he does snap to the grid he's snapping to it we'll go minus with that and we're going to put him right there hold down right click boom just like that Oh, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool indeed. Okay, let's make another one. And this guy is going to go right over here. How far in are we? We're, we're more or less lined up right with the uh, curve here. And about there. So let's just hit grid and we'll, we'll probably pop him right into where he needs to be. Uh, you know what? I should probably move this stuff here first, huh? Like so there we go and that looks about right to me yeah that's cool I like that that is a good idea here comes the rain <laughs> it's time it's time for some rain let me grab some apples here too There we go, beautiful. That should work just fine. Perfect. All right, the rest of it should fill us up. All right, so now we're looking at the sides of the building. Like, we've got these points right here. I think I want to do a little something to kind of uh, change that up a little bit. Let's go into our workbench. We're going to stick with that block up there, but let's change it out a little bit. Let's go with... Um, let me go through these real quick and see what I like. I think I'm going to go with a bunch of these. Let's max one of these out. And we'll put these... Oh, they're already there. Number four. Beautiful. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of uh, smooth this out a little bit up here. I can't even reach it. Uh, inventory, scaffolding. And scaffolding. There we go. Number five. That should work just fine, actually. Perfect. All right, let's put these back in here. Let's get this guy back up to here. There we go, perfect. And let's turn it. We're just going to simply do that right there. Take this back down this way right here. Just to kind of get rid of those, those jagged edges. I don't want those there, so we can, we can move those over like that. Throw that over to, oh, my feet are in the way. Oh, this was just a small little storm. Just a just a little spring shower. How many do I have those now? I've got 24 left. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish this side up if we can. Thanks for the suggestions. They're really great. I'm really enjoying uh, actually all the extra participation. What the heck? Come on now. go I'm glad to see so many people are picking up the game right now and going wow you know this looks pretty fun and it, it really is I'm, I'm having a gr I've had a great time with it from the beginning it's a really good game I'm a builder though I love to build so you know that's kind of my thing I do love to build oh uh, yeah let's just make a bunch we'll make a bunch and then we'll go back there we go if we need to make more we can make more And we're just zip this on down. This is just uh, left click and then hold it. And then when you get to the end, hit right click and boom, it'll go right into place. Uh, this I don't want to really stand out, but I think it needs to be here because it is a chimney. So we're going to do that right there and kind of clean that up a little bit. Uh, 
I've got something going on right here. I think I've got an extra block I don't need over here somehow. We've got to kind of work on the back of this anyways. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. All right, let's see how that looks. Perfect. And holding down F. Maybe it's just hold down F. Is that what it is? Oh, it is F. What am I right clicking? What am I holding right click for? I don't know. F to pick stuff up. Yeah, I'm new to the game. I'm very new. Very new. I've only been playing for a couple of days. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so that looks the, uh, a bit better there. With the maple trees coming up, it's going to kind of hide a lot of the side of this. But we're going to go ahead and do a little something anyways on it. Um, so we've got this going on right here. So... Hmm. What about that? Do I have any in my inventory? I do not. Okay, so we're going to need at least four of those. Need a few of these guys right here. I'm probably gonna need more of them. I'm kind of keeping it a little simple. You can't really see that from the front, but you can from the side. And we need these guys back. We take the scaffolding out of here. go perfect just like that when do we need uh... hmm I'm gonna make up a bunch more of those things right there I want them to be visible but I don't want them to stand out too much if that makes any sense I just I want this to have a simplistic look to it I really do I don't want to be at all flashy and have a bunch of different colors all over it you know what I mean I, I want it to be I want it to blend together really nicely so let's go ahead and get these guys put in right here. Do I have any of the flat, the square blocks of this on me? I do. Okay, perfect. Let's go down here on this end right here. Like that. There we go. Oh, I see what that is. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and... Uh, we're going to add one of these here and one here. And Wow, I'm seeing that backwards every time I do that. Like that. Right at the end here. Oh, there we are. Like that. And we had two of these guys right here. Like so, and then we're going to come back with these guys right here. Like that. Okay, so how many we got left in here? One, two, well, let's see here. 15. Okay, so 15. Right? <laughs> ha! No, it should be one more over. I do believe, right? Then I got 7 here. Yeah. And 7 over here. It should be 7 right here, too. Where is this at? Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm just going to mess that up. And we're going to put one of these here, and then we're going to do this guy right up here. Come on now. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. 
All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. There we go, and one more. Let's hope we've got enough of these, and we do. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Now what we can come back and do is we can come back with this stuff right here, number three, and we can just right click to our heart's content and put some grass back in here, and it's gonna fill in real nice. We need to figure out what we're gonna do with this uh, this little border thing here too. Uh, do I have any dirt on me? I do, I've got four dirt on me. So let's go ahead and go uh, page down. Oh, that's not dirt. Page down, dirt, dirt. It's gonna want me to move here and dirt. There we go, and then I go back to three and I can just patch it all up. Like so. Making sure it's not coming into the building. Let's take a look and see. We should be okay. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Looks good. Nice. Okay. And we're going to come back over here with it. We don't need to fill that in with dirt. That's no big deal. And we've got a little more grass. See what I mean by keeping the grass? I think I mentioned that way back at the beginning is try to keep your grass because, yeah, you're going to need it. You're going to come back once you clear out a space that you're working in. You definitely want to hold on to that. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. The only other thing I would like to see here is, um, let's go ahead and go back to the block bench. Uh, we're in the right category here. Let's go stone bricks and let's make up. Uh, wow, you know what? Hmm. <laughs> Let's try a few of these real quick and see if these don't just clean up the, the front edge a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Yeah, let me get one more of those. Actually, let's get a few more of those, actually. Yeah. Let's do a few more of those right there. And then we're going to go ahead and... Come across the front like so. This is the main entrance in and out, so we might as well do that. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to flip this up, spin it around, and do something like that right there. And we can actually put these down underneath here like that. And that's going to clean that up real nice over there. All the way around. Let's do that. Let's get this all nice and cleaned up so it looks good. Uh, do we need any more underneath here? We did need one more. Oops. There we go. Right, so. Yep. Mm hmm. Beautiful. And why don't we go ahead and attach that right to the building right there? Give it just a little bit of an overlap there. I think that looks nice. And storm on us now. This could stunt the tree's growth. We'll see. I can go down further with that. That's perfect. Oops. That, not so good. Let's do that. And let's grab this guy right here. I'm sure I've gone well over the time I'm supposed to. That is awesome. All right, let's stay with me. One more thing I want to do before we take off here for the day. I'm going to put the wood in myself along here. I'll take care of this entrance way and get kind of the uh, the um, uh, drawbridge kind of organized and situated in there. I want, uh, where's our iron? I think we need this guy right here, don't we, to make the iron 
Torch holders. Whoa. Oh, it stopped raining. It just occurred to me it stopped. Let's, uh, let's go to the end, though. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, no. We need the, uh, the workbench. Uh, we want resources. We want lights. And we want... Let's craft a couple of those to start with. Got a few torches as well. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, let's do these guys right in here. Hmm, this looks like a pretty good place for a torch, doesn't it? I think I want them visible, though, from the front. That's what I think I want. So let's do this right here. We're spin around, we're going to line it up with that same dark line on the block there. And we're going to put a torch right here. Right there. Let's get these out of here so they're not adding light to it. I want to see how much light we have with that. I like uh, I like the low light. I do. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Beautiful. We probably could use a little more light out here, though. A little more light. Those guys look pretty awesome, though. Those stone statues, I like those a lot. Hopefully someday there'll be a variety of them. They almost look kind of samurai-ish, don't they? A little bit. But yeah, they look pretty cool there. How about if we make... I know it's dark. Uh, garden torch? No, those are those are very wrong. How about uh, some iron rods for these guys? There we go. Let's just make up a handful of these guys right here. There we go, and like that, and maybe we can get away with something like this for now, just kind of a t on a temporary basis. I kind of like having the torches in the ground like that, standing straight up. It's pretty cool looking. Okay, right at the corner intersection of those blocks right there. So right about here. Right about there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm standing in the way. Oh. Pick one side or the other, it says. Okay, I see. Okay, so it's right in here. There it goes. Doesn't like to be on the line. You gotta give it a little bit of space. Okay, how much light is that now? That's better. That is better. Yeah, so we'll come up with something to uh we'll create a couple of tor I've got a kind of a torch holder in my head idea that we'll put that we'll use throughout the build to kind of create um to light to light up the area. But there we go. I think that uh yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, guys. That's all I got time for today. I'll have another episode of this or two up this week. Most definitely. I'm really enjoying myself building this. It's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, we're going to let the maple trees grow up, and then we'll add grass and some flowers in there with them. And But we let, we've got to let them grow first, so it's going to take a little while for that to happen. But uh, I think the entranceway, we could pretty much call it done. I'll probably maybe do some decorating in the back of it. We've got to get the wood uh, decor work in the hallway downstairs and then 
kind of make the uh, drawbridge area look like it fits a little bit better. But other than that, it's it's pretty much done. And I think I want to move on to the mine and get that knocked out so we can just uh, kind of have storage and, and smeltery and all that good stuff going on down there. But uh, we should be good to go on the entranceway. I hope you like it. If you do, please hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.